I would like us to observe the reaction of the Shunammite woman. Throughout this narrative, I want us to please note how she reacts to every situation. First and foremost, when she had realized that Elisha was no ordinary man, she suggested that they build a room above their house. Now, at this particular time, Elisha asked, what can we do for you? You have been so concerned about us. Please note her response, note her reply. She said, all is well with me. And when she was standing by the doorway, Elisha said, this time, next year, you shall embrace a son. Surely indeed, the following year, at that particular time, she embraced a son. And the son grew. And the Bible says, as the son grew, one day he was with the reapers at the field with his father and the servants. He cried out with a headache. So they took the son to the mother. She did what she could, but eventually the child died. Please note something. She sends the servant and says, Please, my husband, can you give me a donkey? Can you also give me one servant to accompany me to Mount Carmel so that I may, I may, I may meet Elisha? The man says, the husband, why? Note her answer again the second time. She said, all is well. All is well. She left a dead body in the house. She says, all is well. But certain, certain people cannot handle illnesses. Certain people cannot handle our challenges. Certain people cannot handle death. The moment you tell them that your relationship is, 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 is almost dying, immediately they will organize a funeral for, the, for your relationship. The moment you tell them that your children are sick because of X, Y, and Z, they will quickly organize a funeral for your children. The only answer you have to give them is say, all is well. And off they went. And Elisha, when he spotted them from afar, he sent Gehaz and said, Gehaz, please run and meet that woman. Please ask her these three questions. Is everything well with you? Secondly, is everything well with your husband? Thirdly, is everything well with the child? Note for the third time. The woman replied, all is well. This woman said, no, just allow me to, to proceed to Mount Carmel. And she proceeded. When she got to Mount Carmel, it was then that she fell on her knees and opened her heart. That's when she started crying, friends, we need to open our hearts when we get to Christ. So Gehaz ran toward the house. He laid the stuff. No life. Until Elisha himself arrived. The Bible says, And the child became warm. And life was restored. Back to the child. And Elisha, guess what he did? He said, Gehaz called the woman. The woman walked in. And when the woman walked inside, Guess what she did? She didn't grab the child, but she fell before the feet of Elisha. And as though she was saying, thank you, Lord, for what you have done. And then she received the blessing. She did not rush for the blessing, but she first acknowledged where the blessing came from. May the good Lord help us as we take note from this woman and say, all is well. Oh,